Grit, determination, belief in yourself. The innate understanding that we're here on this planet to serve others. These are the qualities of a bullpup. Joe Smead was a bullpup. Born in 1924, the oldest son of a single mother who took in laundry to make ends meet, young Joe was determined to make a life for himself. He knew he had what it took to succeed and that a great education was the key. So Joe did something extraordinary. Knowing his family lacked the means to cover tuition, he pedaled his bike to Gonzaga High School and found his way to the president of the school, where he spent 20 minutes making his case. When asked what he could contribute to his education, Joe pledged all the earnings from his newspaper route, 50 cents a week. The Jesuit accepted the payment plan, and Joe Smead was set on an extraordinary life path. And he never forgot the kindness and support, nor the opportunities afforded him by his education. A graduate of the class of 1942, Joe loved sports, playing center for the Bullpup football team and legendary coach Billy Frazier. But it was in the classroom where Joe excelled, an exceptional student. Upon graduation, Joe Smead earned a World War II Navy-sponsored V-12 scholarship to attend Colorado University Boulder, graduating in 1946 after only 26 months with an electrical engineering degree. He then served on the USS Columbia, and after completing his time in the Navy, earned his master's degree from the University of Washington. Joe Smead later earned a PhD at Purdue University and worked at Lytton Industries, where he pioneered the use of semiconductors in navigation and control systems. In 1974, Dr. Smead became president and CEO of Kaiser Aerospace and Electronics and eventually purchased the company. He continued to lead the business until 1999. Dr. Smead was a founding member of CU Boulder's Aerospace Engineering Sciences External Advisory Board and, along with his wife Anne, established the department's endowed chair and strong volunteer commitment to CU Engineering. Dr. Joe Smead passed away in 2003, but since then his legacy has only grown. In 2005, Dr. Smead's estate left Gonzaga Prep $3.4 million. That extraordinary gift remains the largest single donation in the school's history. He would be very, very proud. And I think if he were here today, he would probably say to those kids, I challenge you. I challenge you to make the world better, and I challenge you, you to use your education uh, and be a success, whatever that definition is. You know, that's one thing I think that was important about Joe. He, he worked very hard, he was very successful, he became a wealthy gentleman. But that was not why he worked hard. He worked hard to be successful, to create new products, to make the world a better place. It wasn't so much driven by making the money as it was by making the impact. What an incredible impact made by one extraordinary person. As Dr. Smead's wife, Anne, put it so eloquently, $3.4 million is a pretty good return on 50 cents a week. We're all better today for that commitment made nearly 85 years ago and forever grateful to Dr. Harold Joseph Smead, a bullpup for the ages. Dr. Smead, you are a wonderful and exceptional blessing to the Gonzaga Prep community. And it's my honor to welcome you to the Gonzaga Prep Hall of Fame. Congratulations.